guys, it's Libby K here from Libby K Vlogs, and today's video is a part nine of El Defo. So let's see. So we left off when Cece was getting a fruit pie because she was crying. Mm. Oh, she was crying because she couldn't see that well on the board and she was talking during a vocabulary test. So, let's read the page. I get home before mom does. And when she arrives, I'm ready. Uh, mom? Oh, hi. Um, I saw Mrs. Sinkleman just 10 minutes ago at the green market. She told me what happened. I needed to be a set, so I brought you something. Here you go. Oh, mama, a hottest pie and cherry even wants to tell me what happened. I can see the board and I asked for Jenny for help and Mrs. Sinkleman thought I was cheating and I got a zero. That's what happened, honest. Sounds to me you better get your eyes checked. You might need glasses. You mean you believe me? Of course I do. Cece, now let me put the groceries away. Glasses, hmm. But oh, this is so good. Thanks, mama. So Aldefo's mom, I mean Cece's mom, she actually believes um, Cece's story, so. Chapter 14. Sure enough, mom is right. On Saturday, I get glasses and, there are, and they are incredible. I can see, I can see. The faraway stuff had been so blurry. It's so much clearer now. Better after, holy cow, look at these leaves. Before, after, ah, uh, onion rings. We eat out the day, and at the restaurant, I discover that my glasses make everyone's mouth mouths clearer too, even faraway mouths. I can read lip like like never before. Oh my goodness! She just said that. She just said she's leaving him, and she said fudge, but for real. These glasses are awesome. After lunch, I experiment with my glasses. Off and on, off and on, over and over. Blurry, clear, blurry, clear. Hey, it's Martha. Maybe I can impress her with my new glasses. She'll love it. Zowie, the spell, sp oh, spell being speechless can spot my sidekick from more than a mile away. And just wait till she yards, sorry, yards, to the hypnotic charms. Hello, psychic. Oh, I gotta go. Whoa. Repeat after me. You will be my psychic and my true friend again. I will be your psychic and your true friend again. And now you will pinky swear it. Now I'll pinky swear it. I knew it. This would work. She knew. She knew this would work. Martha, hi. I know this will work. But I can't see all too clearly then that Martha still wants nothing to do with me. Rats. On Monday morning, I go to the bus stop wearing my brand new glasses. Hey, you got glasses. Come on, Martha. Check them out. I'm kind of like Helen Keller. What? No. <laughs> Blech. Ew. Martha, wait, the glasses have nothing to do with my, with what happened to my eye, honest. So if you guys remember, um, when, um, when Martha and Cece were playing tag, um, Cece's eye got stuck in a stick of the branch. So she had to get an eye patch. And ever since that, Martha won't talk to Cece. So that's the second time I've made her I've made Martha throw up. I don't think I'll ever get her back. However, I'm seeing Mike Miller better, and he's even cuter in focus. Um, I think your glasses make you look like John Lennon. Uh, uh, he even knows about the Beatles. Sigh. Chapter 15. I love my glasses. Being able to see makes everything easier, especially at school. Oh, now I get it, a 90 degree angle. So. So I decided to really, really study. Ah, knowledge power. 
Maybe if they get good grades, here's what will happen. Do you know Cece? You mean that deaf kid? No, I mean the smartest kid in the whole school. My hard work pays off in all of my classes. So right now Cece is studying more and more because she got some new glasses. So it says in English, she got an A, math A, social studies A, science A, music S, which is even better than A, an art S, and physics and education, I think. She got an NS, except one, physical education, also known as PE. Not, not satisfactory. What? Well, I'm, I know I'm not that athletic. Oof, ow. No way I can, no way, can I hit that? No way can, oh yeah, no way can I hit that. And it's so hard to know what to do when everyone's yelling things at me. Me, 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 blah, blah. To da ba e i ba u ba. The PE teacher, Mr. Potts, doesn't make my solution. At, doesn't help my solution at all. In fact, I live in fear of him. All right, kids, let's break it up into two teams for some major kickball action. Uh, don't forget this, the microphone, Mr. Potts. And he really does treat us as if two separate teams, the athletic kids, y'all are awesome, and everyone else, huh, good luck. Oh. Sorry about that. I almost um, broke my pencil. You stay over there, mister. <laughs> Sorry about that. Try the patience. All right, luckily we don't have PE every day, but today we do, and we're playing kickball. I guess I'll take Stacy. At least I got called before Henry Franz. Kickball is a disaster. Whether I'm kicking, missed again, or trying to throw the ball, I know I stink. I sneak in a little break during the game, and suddenly I hear Mr. Potts taking, talking to himself. Dang, microphone's all tangled up in my whistle. I'll just, oops. Oh no. I watch as the microphone falls toward the hardest surface in the known universe, the gym floor. Here it comes. Kaboom. Ow. So right now, Mr. Potts, Cece's gym teacher, he was trying to take off his whistle because it was all tangled up with the microphone. But then he accidentally dropped it on the floor. Whoopsie. Hey, hey. Whoopsie. Is that all you got? It's broken. Mr. Potts broke my microphone. Hello? Hello? Testing. One, two, three. Hello? I don't understand anything now. Mrs. Sinkleman seems so far away. And she never stays still. Even with my glasses, I can barely see enough to read, to lip read. Thank goodness M Mrs. Sinkleman is sympathetic. Some, I think so. Okay, wait, sorry. <laughs> I wrote down your homework. It'll be better tomorrow, I bet. Sniff. Still kind of worried though. What's gonna happen? When I got home, I put I put on behind the ear aids and show mom the broken microphone. She she calls my I guess doctor. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, uh, uh hmm, I see. Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay, let me get a pencil. We're sending the microphone and your hearing aid to Maryland. I guess you'll have to wear your behind the ear aids to school for a while. For how long? Um, everything will come back to us in the mail in 46 weeks. 46 weeks? I won't be, un I won't be able to understand anything. I'll fail at everything. What am I gonna do? Four to six weeks without my powers? I don't know what I'm gonna do either, but it ain't gonna be pretty. So because Mr. Potts broke Cece's microphone, the microphone isn't coming until four to six weeks, which is a pretty long time. It's about like, if it's four to six weeks, six weeks is like two months. So, yeah. The next morning, for the first time ever, I actually miss putting on the funny gear. I feel so naked. I guess I should be happy to have these aids. 
Now, how am I gonna understand Mrs. Sinkleman? I'm not, I'm not that good at lip reading. At school, blah, 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 blah. Ugh, I can't follow the book if she's covering her face with it. And I think I just missed the ending. Oh, four to, four to six weeks of this. Later that day, Mrs. Sinkleman told me, told me to tell you that we got P.E. next. Yeah, I know, and I'm ready. With or without my powers, I am still Eldefo, and I, and I am outraged. Today in P.E., we are supposed to do, we're supposed to do tests for the Presidential Physics Fitness Award. He says the girls have to do flexed arm hangs, like Bendy, like how Becky is doing. Yikes. A flexed arm hang means that you have to stay in a pole position and keep your chin over the bar for as long as you can stand it. Now it's my turn. All right, Belle, let's see what you can do. Heh. Look out, Pots. Prepare to be amazed. So Cece's class is having a... What the heck is it called? A flexed arm hang for the physics fitness award test today. And they have to like, they have to hold it like, okay, I'm going to try giving an example, but I'm going to look probably dumb doing it. So they have to like get this like little bar thing and then put their chin and then hang on it like this. So like that, but like it's very, like, I think I've tried it before. I don't know. Our hero has suddenly fallen up my Fooled by rage, that man has cost me my superpowers, my good grades, but not my good name. 64 seconds, I'm a defo, I'm a champion. It's a world record. The President of the United States of America himself arrives to pre present El Defo with her hard earned award. Move over, Pots. A great, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, however, I always say move over, Pots so funny. Move over, Pots. A great nation presents the Physical Fitness Award to you, LDFO, for your remarkable feats of skill and talent. 64 seconds? Wow. Thank you, adoring public. Well, Belle, I've never seen anyone stay up for that long. Huh, you ain't seen nothing yet, Pots. Hey, did he just give me an S for that? I am satisfactory. So S means satisfactory and NS means not satisfactory. I guess. All right, this is the last chapter we're eating. Oh my God, I said eating again. This is the last chapter we're reading in chapter 16. I can't believe you stayed up for there for 64 seconds. You have to tell dad about that when he gets back from his trip. Oh, well, hey, look, he's back already. Well, hi, George. How was the conference? Yeah, dad. What'd you bring me? Ah, uh, it's a good one. I even wrapped it. Maybe it's a new phonic ear. The suspense is killing me. Whoa, that's not a phonic ear. It's a pencil, a curly pencil. Gee, Dad, a curly pencil? I've never seen anything like it. It's awesome, Dad. Oh, it's awesome. Thanks, Dad. Glad you like it. Oh, man, it writes like a real pencil, too. That is so cool. I do the rest of my homework with my new curly pencil even though it takes a lot, a whole lot longer. I can't wait to show this to everyone at school tomorrow. Okay, wait, sorry, one sec. I feel like, I'm sorry, but like, I feel like, no, we didn't. That we already read about the curly pencil. All right, when I wake up next morning, I don't have the usual stinky feeling that I've that I've had every day since the phonic ear broke. Instead, I'm excited. Behold, I dress quickly, go, go, go. I eat quickly, go, go, go. Good grief. And I hurry out the door, go, go, go. Wait, don't forget your month. Don't forget your lunch money. Just wait till the kids at the bus stop see, see this. Maybe even Martha will be impressed. Shoot, Martha's not here yet, but Mike is. Hey, look what I got. Ta-da! Wow, neat. My dad gave it to me. You can hold it, but be careful. It could break, just like a real pencil can. Careful. Gee, that's really cool. Nifty. Wow, here you go, Mike. Even Mike Miller is impressed. Swoon. 
That's amazing. Here, Johnny. Huh? This is stupid. Crack. Here you go. Har har. What'd you do that for? I don't know. There's a guy named Johnny. He broke the curly pencil that Cece had. Sniffing. Wow. I can't believe this. I'm in fifth grade and I'm bawling in front of everyone. In front of Mike Miller again. Wow, wow. Cece, uh, uh. Mama, mama. My goodness. What happened? Johnny broke my curly pencil on purpose, so I'm throwing it away. That's terrible. You can certainly stay home today if you want to. And miss school? You can't do that. Well, Ashley and Sarah can take can take you on their way to school. Sniff. How am I going to face everyone now? When I get to school, I go to the gym like always and sit in the bleachers. But no way am I seeing this in neighborhood kids or any other kids for that matter. I stare straight ahead and try not to cry anymore. But suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I see someone that's some somebody coming. It's Johnny, and he's being and he's being pushed by Mike Miller. Okay, Johnny, apologize. Uh, sorry about sorry about the pencil. Uh, I don't know what to feel. Um, listen, I'm really sorry. I'm I'm sorry about what happened. It was a really cool pencil. I don't know why he felt like he had to do that. Should I feel happiness because Mike Miller really is nice and might actually care about me? Uh, or shame or shame because Mike Miller witnessed the whole thing? Uh, well, I gotta go. And you just feel sorry for me and my whole crybaby, deaf kid self? Bye, hope you feel better.